What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to a huge story in this video that we are covering because Liverpool have apparently bid 120 million euros for Real Madrid superstar Rodrigo and he could be the replacement for Mosla or Luis Diaz so let me know what are your thoughts in the comments below and if you were in charge of Liverpool which player would you sell if you had to sell one star player leave it down below just the name and also what are your top three transfers that you would make if you were in charge of Liverpool FC I would love to hear from you so just write a name that you would sell and write three other names that you would sign preferably for different positions and uh, Liverpool are looking to sign Rodrigo because Real Madrid apparently are open to selling Rodrigo after signing Mbappe and Endre they now have one too many forwards they have of course uh, Mbappe Endrick Vinicius Junior Rodrigo Rodrigo, Jose Lu and uh, Brahim Diaz and all these attackers, an amazing array of talent at Real Madrid, but they can't comply with the very strict La Liga financial fair play rules unless they sell, probably, if, unless they sell one of their star players. But the transfer chatter in uh, Spain is that Ma Real Madrid are ready to sell Rodrigo if an over 100 million bid arrives with Liverpool weighing up their options and according to these reports Florentino Perez are increasingly open to listening to offers for Rodrigo and Real Madrid played in a 4-4-2 diamond formation last season to accommodate Jude Bellingham who, were, who was playing behind Vinicius Junior and Rodrigo and this leaves the question uh, what kind of formation will Ancelotti use for Real Madrid and will there be a place for Rodrigo regularly to start in the Real Madrid side because he's not really a young player anymore he's 23 years old he's world class he's very established we will take a look at his stats and uh, what his metrics are and what kind of playing style he represents and how he could fit in at Liverpool so we will have a deep dive on the profile of Rodrigo later in this video so if you enjoy these videos make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new around here and turn on the bell notification so you never miss the latest updates around Liverpool FC and also please guys I need your help because I'm struggling to make ends meet uh, YouTube revenue is way down this year sponsors are sponsorships are very scarce so I need Need you to support my patreon link is in the video description where you can donate just a few bucks a month and it helps me make these videos i make around 400 500 dollars per month from these videos so it's very very little and according to various english and spanish newspapers liverpool are offering 100 million pounds for the real madrid star rodrigo apparently liverpool have already made this bid to sign rodrigo real madrid are looking to maybe reinvest money in Erling Haaland that's what one newspaper is saying uh, Real Madrid would be willing to sell Rodrigo but they are only listening to offers uh, around 100 and 120 million pounds and according to reports in Spain Liverpool have already made a bid worth 100 million for Rodrigo but Real Madrid have rejected the offer and they want 126 million for Rodrigo but if seriously Liverpool made this bid then it would be all over the English uh, newspapers as well and it will be it would be all over uh, the Liverpool based journalist but so far we haven't see, seen anything from the Liverpool based journalist we have only seen reports coming from Spain but you might wonder what is the agenda here if, if Real Madrid really didn't want to sell Rodrigo then there these rumors wouldn't even exist Real Madrid would just squash the rumors straight away but somebody is putting these stories out there that Rodrigo is wanted by Liverpool and Liverpool are bidding for Rodrigo so either it's Real Madrid trying to sell Rodrigo or it's Rodrigo's agent maybe trying to drum up interest in his client and maybe Rodrigo is ready to leave Real Madrid we will talk about that in a little bit later the problem is Rodrigo has a contract for another four years so Real Madrid can ask for a huge amount of money and according to this newspaper Rodrigo is willing to leave Real Madrid if he's no longer a strike starter in Real Madrid's attack as a 23 year old fully established player he doesn't want to sit on the bench behind uh, Kylian Mbappe but this Spanish newspaper is saying that Rodrigo is not for sale and he doesn't really want to leave but in other newspapers 
They are saying that Rodrigo refused to rule out a summer exit from Real Madrid. Speaking to uh, Dazain, Dazon uh, in the build-up to the Champions League final, he was asked whether he wants to stay at Real Madrid forever and he said yes, well, anything can happen. I have a contract here but I don't know. The years I've been here have been a pleasure for me. I've always said I wanted to be, I want to be at this club but let's see how the future is. So Re Rodrigo once again left the door open he refused to make any definitive statements because even before the Champions League final the rumors were very high that Mbappe is joining Real Madrid and uh, you know Vinicius Junior will start Mbappe will start Jude Bellingham will start so if Real Madrid used last season's formation Rodrigo will be on the bench can they accommodate Rodrigo Mbappe Vinicius Jr. and Jude Bellingham in the same side. That's four attacking players who don't really defend at all. Like, not, not none of them. Uh, maybe Vinicius and Rodrigo tracks back a little bit and Jude Bellingham as well, but I'm not sure how Real Madrid can make that work. And uh, according to other newspapers, Liverpool have demanded a price set by Real Madrid for Rodrigo because he has been selected as a priority transfer target and they want to convince uh, Real Madrid president Florentino Perez to sell Rodrigo and uh, Real Madrid don't rule out the sale of Rodrigo because of, uh, you know, the La Liga financial fair play rules and also because Rodrigo might actually want to leave and go to a club where he's a regular starter and as you can see the Real Madrid news uh, outlet is reporting that Liverpool have bid 120 million euros and Real Madrid have rejected that. Diario Sport um, is reporting as well and we haven't even talked about Endrick who is uh, also another Brazilian wonder kid that Real Madrid signed for quite a lot of money and he will want to play as well so there there are there is so much competition for places Real Madrid's attack is going to be absolutely insane next season and they have already won like six Champions League trophies in the past like 11 years and they add Mbappe and Hendrik on top of the already Champions League winning squad it's absolutely crazy how Real Madrid are building their side can they afford to like register all of these superstars in the La Liga financial fair play rules, I'm not sure. The Spanish news outlet Nacional is reporting that uh, because Rodrigo's game time will be diminished after uh, the arrival of Mbappe and Hendrik, Liverpool have tried to sign Rodrigo and uh, they are reporting that Liverpool could be ready for a swap deal to offer Trent Arxuanod in exchange for Rodrigo because Trent has only one year left on his contract, Real Madrid want him. I don't think Liverpool would entertain this idea. The only way that we would do this is if Trent Trent says, I want to go to Real Madrid, I'm not signing a new contract. If Trent isn't signing a new contract, it's better to sell him or swap him right now than to lose him for absolutely nothing next summer. Trent has a very close friendship with Jude Bellingham as well, so that's another side of the story that uh, going to Real Madrid could be uh, enticing and also the uncertainty at Liverpool is uh, making these big stars uh, fearful for the future. Will Liverpool be as good and as competitive as they were under Jurgen Klopp. That's on everybody's mind, I think. With the new manager coming in, there is always uncertainty. Liverpool are in a rebuild period. While at Real Madrid, they, they are just going from strength to strength and they are favorites for the Champions League definitely next season with Mbappe in the side and having won the Champions League already this season and twice in the past three years. Liverpool also needs a long-term Mo Salah replacement and Rodrigo could be that player. Rodrigo had a very impressive campaign in the last two seasons, but last season, as you can see, he scored 10 goals and 5 assists in La Liga, 5 goals and 3 assists in the Champions League, and some of his goals in the Champions League actually made Real Madrid go through to the next round. He was absolutely crucial in Real Madrid winning the Champions League. Salah also had a very impressive campaign, scoring 18 goals in the Premier League. If uh, Liverpool do get uh, Rodrigo to replace Salah, they are getting a very different profile of a player. Rodrigo is a superb ball carrier and he uses his, long, his low center of gravity and the sharp change of direction to easily go past people. He averages six progressive carries, four carries into the final third and 3.2 carries into the penalty area per 90 minutes. 
Salah averages just 3.5 progressive carries, 1.9 carries into the final third and 2.4 carries into the penalty area. So Rodrigo's numbers are better in terms of dribbling and carrying the ball forward. Rodrigo is also a more successful dribbler. In one-on-one -on -one situations he attempts 1.5.6 every uh, take-ons on average per 90 minutes and he completes 2.3 take-ons per 90 minutes. Salah's numbers are like half. He attempts 2.7 take-ons per 90 minutes and completes only 0.96 take-ons. Rodrigo is only 23 years old and as you can see his market value is 110 million euros and he has a contract until 2028 and he can play in a variety of positions striker like center forward more like left winger right winger even attacking midfielder he played in some games and look at his trophy cabinet already at real madrid twice champions league winners three times la liga winners one spanish cup three spanish super cups one european super cup and one Club World Cup, absolutely insane trophy cabinet. And this just shows how successful Real Madrid have been, not just in recent years, but probably since 2002, since they started, sorry, since, uh, since Cristiano Ronaldo went there, they started winning the Champions League like crazy, the crazy amounts. And Rodrigo has 17 goals and nine assists in all competitions uh, this season that just finished. In the previous season, he had an even better season. 57 games, 19 goals and 11 assists. That's very impressive. Then uh, two seasons ago, nine goals and 10 assists in 49 games. And then he had an off season in 2021. Maybe it was because of COVID, but he only had two goals and eight assists in all competitions, but he only played 33 games. Uh, he had a small injury. In his first season at Real Madrid, he played only nine, 29 games, but still scored nine goals and got three assists. So Rodrigo has been very impressive for Real Madrid in all competitions. The big question is, uh, what do Liverpool do with um, not just Mo Salah, but with a lot of, uh, you know, other attackers. There is a scenario where we could either sell Mo Salah to Saudi Arabia for 75 to 100 million if there are offers and replace Salah with Rodrigo right now. Or we could keep Salah, try to extend his contract and sell Luis Diaz to Paris Saint-Germain for around 75 million. And then it's not unthinkable that putting another like 50 million on top of that, we get Rodrigo for 125 million. Rodrigo is four years younger than Luis Diaz and arguably already a better player than Luis Diaz. His decision making in the final third is what makes Rodrigo better. He just is more clinical in front of goal. He gets more goals, more assists. Even though I love Luis Diaz, I love how direct he is running at people. But sometimes he makes the wrong decisions. Sometimes when he should shoot, he passes. Sometimes when he should pass, he shoots. His output, his end product is just not up there. Like you could see that Rodrigo become, becomes a 20 goal and 10 assist a season player. And let's actually check Luis Diaz's stats of, uh, you know, his, his recent Liverpool seasons on how he fares. So this season Luis Diaz had 13 goals and 4 assists. So that makes him... Uh, 17 goal a season uh, like goal contributions but the previous seasons he had five goals last season and just two assists uh, yes he was injured for a large chunk of the season last season he only play, played 21 games this season though 51 games and 13 goals four assists that's not enough i feel that Lu luis diaz should be also a 20 goal and 10 assist a season player. So instead of getting 30 goal contributions, Luis Diaz got just 17. And I fe feel that's not enough. In his first season, we signed him in January, he got six goals and four assists. So 10 goal contributions, again, just not enough. His numbers are not on top there. In 98 games uh, in total, he just scored 24 goals and got 10 assists. So that's 34 goal contributions in 98 games. I feel that he should be up there at at least 50, 55 goal contributions because those are the numbers of Luis Diaz, sorry, of Diogo Jota and Mo Salah. But that's just my opinion that maybe Luis Diaz deserves another season. I think the Liverpool have a very tough job on their hands uh, what to do with our attacking uh, players because we could leave them as it is and just sign a defensive midfielder and a centre-back and probably 
hopefully we will be better. Maybe Luis Diaz deserves another season. Darwin Nunez definitely deserves another season. Uh, Cody Gakpo and Jota are, you know, great, so they should stay. And Mo Salah is brilliant, world class. He should stay as well. But if Salah doesn't want to sign a new contract, maybe it's time to sell him. Who knows? Uh, it's very, very tough. Even I can't decide. Let me know what is your opinion. And thanks for watching. Have a nice day. See you later, guys. Goodbye.